Hello everybody and welcome back to another video today. We're taking the PMDG 737-800 Ryanair again. Service from, well, service from uh, Edinburgh to Gothenburg. The flight is about 1 hour and 55 minutes. And, um, yeah, let's get the show on the road. So, first things first, this is a really, a relatively new registration of the, uh, of the Ryanair P uh, 737. They have some new equipment here. Um, so, um, yeah, well, interesting to have this, even though it's not really any different from the old style. So battery comes on, voltage is checked, alternate flaps off, and my power is guarded, wipers are off, electro hydraulic pumps are off, AP bleed is off, gears down 3 green, 3 green, and on the external power. Go down here. Over we'll detection test. Fire test. Okay. English bottles. Looks good. And go to the overhead position lights on. I did a recorder on. Emergency ice lights arm and let's see attendant button. And then the have an utility and IFE which is to on as well. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and go to FS Actions Fuel. Um, actually we're gonna go ground services, press the fuel truck, and for today's flight we require 7.1 tons, so we're gonna do 7200. And we're gonna try something different. Normally I would like real-time boarding and stuff like that. Um, at least to have an effect to the aircraft so the payload when it gets loaded it actually loads in real time whereas you know for example gsx it's only visual at the moment and i, I don't i don't expect pmdg to integrate gsx um, with their products or integrate their products with gsx they never did they never probably never will and they stay stubborn on that part i've read at the forums they still don't want to do it so yeah very unfortunate but it is what it is so, um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to load the fuel in real time. That's the one thing I'm not going to use GSX with anyways. Uh, I would not recommend using the fuel truck for GSX. Um, it's not very well integrated. Plus most uh, third-party aircraft don't really use the default loading system in MSFS. So, um, I, don't, I don't even have it on at the moment. Um, so... Passenger is 126. This is one thing I will do right now. So 126. And um, we'll start the filling process. Make sure that all the rest of the documents are also on board. Alright, so now that we've got all our documents on board, everything's set, the airplane should be powered up by a for four minutes now at this point. Um, we got our fueling requested and everything like that. We could do the after red scan, so the first officer would go, uh, um, the, when he uh, comes back, normally he would do this, I guess, or he goes out. Um, but when the captain comes in, it's the first officer normally does the power up, and then uh, the captain would come in and he would then just scan this panel real quick. Um, depending on the airline SOP. We're just gonna do that. Looks good, everything else looks good here. Aris is set to nav, both. Oxygen pressure is checked. Um, align, align. And here we should then see the amount of time it takes to align. Those, eight minutes, eight minutes. And you could do a leading edge device test, but it will be done anyways with the light test later on on the captain's flow. Graph overhead scan is complete, we'll then do a couple of extra checks. So, um, well, hydraulic quantities are checked, engine oil quantities are good. Then go down here, boilers are the down detent. The config works. Pops up and indicating. Set the parking brake and light agrees. The Fuel levers are cut off and the sap trims are guarded. And that is checked. 
but last but not least, we're also going to check the recall. So you just hit once, verify all the systems here that are showing are normal, which they are. Um, fuel because fuel pumps have low pressure. Um, fuel like flight controls because well, the flight controls aren't running. Low pressure lights. Um, e like because uh, the drive generators are not running. Anti ice because the probe heats are off. Hydraulics because obviously the hydraulics have low pressure, and then the overhead um, for the flight data recorder off. So. We'll cancel that so if anything ever pops up again it will automatically show us and tell us what system we need to take a look at um so that way that way uh, yeah not have to worry about it too much the next thing we're going to go to the fmc then there's 7800 all right cycles up to date we are at edinburgh gate 30. copy and paste that in there Go to Root and Echo Sierra Golf Golf or oh, Root Light Plan Request. Unfortunately, there's no direct sim brief integration. You have to export the flight plan to the PMDG folders in order for this to work. Um, so, no real sim brief integration yet. Um, we'll see how far they take it. And there we have it. The flight number is Ryanair. We do to Alpha. And we're going to go to Departure. And wait, 2 4. The Grick 3 Charlie Departure. Or the Grice. Is entered. We will now put on the Arrival, which is ILS 03. Um, the R is Maku. 5 Lima. Go to root, and that should be fine. We'll check with the SID. That's fine. Um, I'm going to activate and execute initial climb. You can already expect to be 6,000. We can do 6,100. I'm going to release the fuel truck. We're about 20 minutes from departure time, so we're going to go and request boarding from GSX. That's the wrong one. There we go. Refueling truck is on its way. Please don't load aircraft until the fuel truck arrives and ask to do it. Boarding requested. Let's continue uh, here. So legs, everything is checked. We go to init performance. We're going to put in the weight and everything data, all the data that we are expecting. The zero fuel weight is 56.5. Cost and next will be 17. The cruise level is 350. Uh, transition altitude here in Edinburgh is 6,000. Average wind component is 284 at 16. As a deviation is plus 4, that will go minus 50. What we can do is go to root data, we went to request, actually we need the IRS first. Um, so we're going to go to radio fix, the fix information page, and we're going to put in some data uh, for the departure, so Tala. So, for the departure here, for Grice, we'll do Tala, that at 32, 33, radial... 347 and 352. But the Azure, okay, so the irises are aligned now. We can now do a wind request. And again, this only works. There's no um, real A cars or anything like that. It's just a file that gets exported from Simbrief. You can download this and then it will load it in. Um, so this is unfortunately stationary uh, weather, so it doesn't really change over time. Um, progress top cruise 125 that's about right we're also going to check for um, the distance about 571 um, 571 is exactly right and fuel we have we're expecting four tons um, which I mean also looks about right 
Yeah, actually even less, but four times this effect. And we'll continue with the overhead. Check and set. Okay, 5,000 feet. Hang altitude is 500 feet. Plug that in. Everything is checked. System left. That's all good to go. On now for runway heading is two four one. Hi, also going to plug into two uh, runway two four for the return ILS. We're going to plug it in one zero eight nine. And we can see here displayed, that's checked, 1.5 DME. And uh, we're also going to plug in all that 1138, I think it was. Three, eight. There it is, identified, identified. Um, so that's checked. All this is entered and set. Um, we'll continue here with the oxygen test. I mean, you would also check the after red, but somehow it, it releases the push button when you like pan around, which is not so fun. Date and year is checked. Uh, we're going to turn up the brightness a little bit here. It is daytime, so it's nice to have some brightness. That's all checked and set. That's all good. You said that. Frequencies, we're not on that some right now. Um, that's all checked and set. And uh, that is pretty much done. Now we'll do the first officer flow. He's got his things to do. I'm just gonna do a quick check, make sure auction isn't completed too crazily. Good, we'll do a GWS test, a quick one. Glide slope. Pull up. Wind shear. Wind shear. Wind shear. Terrain, terrain. Pull up. Airspeed low. Airspeed low. Other air tests we can't do. Oops. Do a TCAS test. TCAS test pass. And that is set and checked. With that, we can do the pre flight checklist. So, oxygen is tested 100%. Navigation and transfer display switch is normal. Auto window heat is on. Pressurization mode switch are auto flight instruments. Heading 210, 210, 210, 210. It's all checked. And altimeters 1024 on all three sets. Um, about 100 feet, no difference. The maximum difference can be 75 feet on the ground, which is checked. Thank you. Um, parking brake set and engine start levers are cut off. Pre flight checklist is completed.
We're already um, almost ready for departure. We have about five minutes left. Um, we should have already gotten our clearance about five minutes ago, but um, we're not online anyway, so there's no stress. 6,000 feet initially, transponder set, and our um, SID is checked and set. Also do the departure briefing, but uh, we're just gonna skip that for today to save a little bit of time. And uh, yeah, we just wait until boarding is completed, which it is at this point. We get the load sheet and we can now revise our information. So 66.6. Uh, we'll take a look at that later. Our reserves for today will be, uh, we'll say 2.6. Insert, execute. Or N1 limit, and this is where um, Opcat comes into play. All right, so I updated our data, and now we can take take off calculations here. So take off derate is none, so 26K. I'm assuming uh, temperature of 42 degrees, ops 5, um, plus reduction 1500, acceleration 3000, minimum sector altitude is 3000, so we're going to put that other engine out for now. V speeds are 140, 140, and 144. We've updated our values here as well. We're gonna go ahead and put a 144 in here. Alright, so we're ready for pushback and engine start. So we're gonna go ahead and do everything as required. Fill pumps, come on. We have dry pumps, come on. We're on the anti collision light. Recall. That's normal. And we're going to do the four star checklist. Light deck doors closed, log V2144, heading 061, altitude 6000. We are ready for pushback and engine start. Roger, release the parking brakes, please. Pushing back. Clear behind, and you can start your engines at your discretion. Starting engine two. All right, starting one. Control check. Pull up. Pull down. Neutral. Pull left. Pull right. Neutral. Rudder. Full left. Pull right. And neutral. First our checklist. Four taxi checklist. Generators are on, propeat is on, anti-ice is off. Auto stage lit isolation valve auto. Brakes off. Let's get out of here.
Check fuel pumps that is required by the radar will turn on. For the off-check list stops, 5 green. The visor trim is 5.6 units set. Our recon is blank, TCAS, TRA, TARA. And we are clear to line up, so... I'm cruising for departure. Day off, landing lights coming on. Clock. Go 40%. Table. Go, go. Set ten flaps to one. Good green half. And flaps up.
approaching minimums. Minimums. One hundred. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Ten. Alright, shut down check, those fuel pumps are off, profit is off, hydraulic panel set, flaps up. Parking brake is on, engine start lever is cut off, and weather radar is off. Shut down checklist is completed. So, that is the end of the flight. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Um, and, uh, yeah, if you guys have any suggestions, let me know. In the future, um, what's going to happen, in case you guys are wondering, the boarding started. is uh, I'm waiting for FSD crew to come out with the PMDG and the tablet as well. We're going to have a little bit more fun with that. So by the time this video comes out, it is possible that both of those products are out. Um, so that would be the the tablet from PMDG as well as FSD crew for the PMDG 737. Um, we're definitely going to be making more videos, so uh, stay tuned for that. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited about this. I really enjoy flying in MSFS now with the PMG, the Phoenix, and even the CRJ actually is a lot of fun as well. Um, so yeah, thank you guys all for, uh, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And until uh, the next video, peace.